Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. Um, I'm actually returning back to Aya because I want to do uh, something that has something to do with uh, PB's loyalty mission. So it's called the Museum Trip and apparently there is a museum on Aya that PB is very interested in. So uh, let's take a look, shall we? Uh, it should be apparently over there. So I guess I'll see you guys in a second when we get where we need to be. Ryder, you are the subject of a detailed scan by an Angara standing nearby. Excuse me? Maybe I should introduce myself. Okay then. Speak to the Angara who scanned you. Who scanned me? That's Charles. Ryder, take a break. Danfre. Hello there. I'm working. Uh, I know. On me. You scanned me pretty hard. That wasn't your way of saying welcome, stranger? I wanted to be discreet. Noted. What's your interest in me? You're an alien on my homeworld. Why wouldn't I be interested? What are you holding? You Fine. Will you submit to a full-spectrum analysis of your biology? Um... Hmm... What do you hope to find? Are you looking for something specific? We share many external similarities. I want to learn if that holds true internally. And who are you exactly? You haven't even told me your name. I Dorothy, don't usually do that on the uh, first date. This is my home. You know what, let me scan you first. I have a scanner too. Seems only fair you let me go first. That's ridiculous. <laughs> it's my final offer. You're bold, Pathfinder. All right. Scan me. I've been scanning people constantly. Angara and skeletal structure, muscular formation, and organs are optimal for thriving in harsh environments. As previously discovered, they can also generate and discharge bioelectrical energy. Wait, what? All done. You're interesting. I didn't know that about Angara. So are you. They can produce electricity? When we face extinction, family is our final comfort. Do you understand that? Um... Angara Revere family, indeed. I've spent long enough around your people to understand what family means to you. You only see the surface. Family is everything. Not only the one we have now, but the ones that follow us. What will your family look like in five generations? Ten? How many of you will there be? You're worried there'll be more of us than you. I have 23 grandchildren. I want to know what their grandchildren will inherit. Goodbye. Pathfinder. Fair enough. That sounds like a, a valid concern. So I don't really have anything to say about that. Yeah, because it has been the subject of a lot of uh, discussion in fantasy. Uh, humans are usually the species that um, well procreate the fastest. So they uh, are always the strongest because there are just more of them. So uh, BB. Hello, BB. Are you dancing? What are you doing? Getting acquainted with our new neighbors? Sort of. All this stuff. What is she doing? Culture and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, she looks drunk. Ha! You've been drinking. You're sauced, aren't you? What's your poison? Achha. I visited that cafe the Angara consider a bar. Asked for their hardest stuff. It was weird, which I like, but had almost no... Punch. <laughs> Lightweight. This is awesome. Whoa. Steady now. That stuff must have a slow absorption rate. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, indeed. Oh, writer. It's just... This museum reminds me of being on Haitiana during my indentured service as a student. They even have a whole section on the remnant. I didn't come to Andromeda to follow in someone else's footsteps. Huh. Okay, then, so you're... Kind of pissed because, well, aside from the booze, you're kind of pissed that the Angara have already discovered a lot about the Remnant. Um, they still have questions. Don't worry, PB. The Angara barely have a foothold. Sure, they live among the ruins, but they haven't seen what we've already seen. Hmm. You might have a point there. Bet nobody here has ever outrun an ancient vault purification field, huh? <laughs> nope. Yep. Yeah. Or spat in that Archon's ugly mug and lived to talk about it? That was nice work, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. 
Ah, you're right. Not sure why, but ever since I packed up my apartment on the Nexus, something's crawled under my skin. But whatever it is, I promise, I'll get over it lickety-split. Uh, good. Yeah, Be sure I suppose. You do. You're a handful, even sober. You can handle me, Ryder, whenever you want. <laughs> Think I'll stay in your operation a little while longer. Sounds like a very good idea. Okay. That is, is that it? Maybe I can scan anything here. Hello? Nope. Nothing here. Can check out the museum exhibit. Look at her go. Though we don't know much about the Remnant or its creators, we've determined the Remnant were present in Helios long before our people. The Remnant's purpose appears to be the same as the Planetary Vault, to transform a world into a thriving, beautiful paradise. Before the arrival of Pathfinder Rider in Revolution 826, modern attempts to interact with the Remnant had been unsuccessful, but we've been able to coexist with them peacefully here on Ion. That is interesting. So they don't have any issues with the Remnant on this planet? Okay, and this one? Though we know little about our pre-scourge ancestors, evidence points to a grand multi-planet society with sophisticated technology. Many recent discoveries indicate our ancestors even traveled vast distances between systems. Though we have no way of knowing for sure, most scholars theorize our people's early success was due to the use of remnant technology. Sounds pretty obvious. So I think that's it for now on the... Uh, ah yeah, there's a few more museum exhibits, but I'm not going to read everything. Because uh, yeah, we would be here for a while, because there's a lot of them. Um, okay, who are you? Avella Kiard. Stars above, it's you. I was hoping to get a chance to speak with you. You left your home to cross dark space. Is it true you can never go back? I suppose yeah. so. This is home now. To take such a risk and give up your old life. Why did you do it? Well, adventure, naturally. I couldn't resist the adventure of a lifetime. I know the feeling. There's a rush in taking a chance and hoping for the best. My turn for a question. Do I get to know your name? Oh, of course. I'm Avela Kajar, curator for the Repository of History. We study relics of our past, try to piece together what we lost in the Scourge. And, the truth is, there was something I wanted to talk to you about. Oh, of course, there's I'll always something they want to talk about. How much about. do you know about our history? Not much. I still have a lot to learn. Centuries ago, the Scourge targeted my people. Our ships were the first to go dark. Many of those ships went down over Havaral. The wilds of that planet are filled with history. A scientist on Havaral just contacted me with the new nav point of an intact crash site. A huge opportunity. But with Remnant patrolling the area, we can't get close enough. Not like you can. So you want me to go? I know it's a lot to ask, but you have a ship and the means to get past the Remnant. Without your help, I'm stuck. So we know why me, of course, because she just told us because we have a ship and the means to get there. Um, does Ephra know about this? I don't think Ephra would be too happy with this arrangement. Ephra doesn't have to know. And if he finds out, he can direct his anger at me. Takes guts to stand up to him. Yeah, indeed. I'd face worse to get a piece of our history back. Okay, I'll take a look. I've always wanted to give archaeology a try. Whenever we get back to Havarl, oh, that is. That. If you find anything, I'll be here. Thank you, Pathfinder. So with that done, I think I'm gonna head back to ooh, data pad. I'm gonna head back to the Tempest and I'll see you guys in a second because we're gonna continue on with the main quest because uh, that's where the good stuff is, is happening. So next up, we're gonna head to the Kadara port in the Gavorkum system, if I'm not mistaken. I think that was the name. Um, so access to the galaxy map, I suppose. No, okay, I knew something like that was gonna happen. So Drac, where is Drac? Drac used to be downstairs, so I'm just gonna check down there first. Let's see if we can find him over there, because we, yeah, we haven't been talking to Drac recently, so... Drac, are you in the bathroom? They must no. say about the facility on Vault. There will be. But maybe not right now. So that's Charles and Liam. Inane chatter about nothing coming up. Oh! I think I... Oh, oh no. Ryder. Sorry for the mess. We're at Lexi. Who's your friend? An exalted cat. I called Jarl to show him. Ah, oh, there he is. Oh, this might be interesting. Jarl, 
Look at this. There's nothing Angara inside. Oh, the physical okay. can be deceiving. I've run hundreds of tests. Only traces of the Angara genome remain. The exalted are kept. There must be a way to fix them. Um, we can always hope, but I don't think there's always a solution. Anything's possible. We just have to keep trying. Even from mistakes, we can learn. Thank you, Ryder. You're welcome. What? Jarl needs to accept that exaltation is permanent. You're making his grief worse. That wasn't the intention, but... I didn't think about it like that. Because you see him as a friend, not a patient. That's why I'm here. To observe and treat. Jarl is part of this crew. His welfare is my responsibility. Um, but not your only one. Yeah, that's, of course, everybody's welfare is her responsibility, but you're doing pretty well. I know this job was a surprise, but you've really stepped up. And look, you got your cat sample. Their bodies are unlike anything I've seen. Centuries of gene stealing, crafted evolution. It's horrible, of course, but also fascinating. Glad you're settling in. Sink or swim, right? Yeah, indeed. I should probably clean this up before it starts to smell. How do you clean that? Yeah, never mind. I don't want to know. Probably push it out of the airlock or something. Um, Drac. Where the hell is Drac? Why do they keep moving? This would have been a lot easier if they just stayed in one place. Drac. Really looking forward to kicking those guys in the teeth. Get us there, and we'll save you a place in line. So. These voices are coming from all over the place. This is Liam's space, usually. So then... That there is usually Vetra's. Looks like pictures of the Exaltation Chamber. There she is. Yeah, the Ket are using some Angaran-made medical equipment. Could be a lead. I just want an edge on those Ket bastards. If they ever got their hands on Sid, I'd... That's her sister, uh, if you don't remember. It was Scott. Yeah, indeed. A Scots an adult. Well, we've seen Sid, and she seemed pretty adult as well. I don't know what I'd do. We're all that's left of our family. Same here. Sid was so little when our father left, and I was... Well, her age now. Well, let's not talk about ourselves here, so uh, that must have been hard. You raised your sister by yourself. That can't have been easy. Had to. I waited forever for our father to come home. He never did. He was involved with some bad things. Bad people. Eventually it caught up to him. There was nowhere to run. Not like a whole new galaxy. Is that why you came here? When you're young and stupid, you make bad decisions. Piss off the wrong people. That sort of thing never goes away. Not for you, not for the ones you care about. I don't want to not come home one day. You're too tough for that. Yeah, indeed. Come on, you're strong, smart. It'll take a lot to keep you from coming home. Strong, smart, but maybe just lucky. Luck runs out on you. I won't. What? That was a weird I have a good feeling reaction. about you, Ryder. Thank you. I have a I good feeling about you, too. Talk to my people, see if they've heard anything. Chat later? As always, Fetra, I really like Fetra. She, she's just so badass. Um, Drac, probably upstairs then. Because every time I want to talk to one of our crewmates, I end up talking to three others instead of the one I actually want to talk about. Because they just can't stay in one place. Stop moving around. Drac, where the hell are you? So Gil, I want to talk to Gil. He just wants to play poker with me. Um, so no Drac over here. Where the hell is Drac? Well, let's talk to Cora anyway. They aren't just conquerors, or slavers. The Ket turn everything you are to their advantage. Worst kind of enemy. The one that makes you fight your own people. We can show them mercy, yeah, indeed. Because that's why I shot that, uh... Well, that cardinal guy, I think, in the face. With a sniper rifle from close range. Um, I feel for Jal. Jal. Jal faces Jol. every day. Now that we know the truth. Friends. Neighbors all changed and they're loyal to what changed them. 
You're pretty worked up about this. Yeah, but she doesn't Kandra's look really looked worked up. Kandra's strategy for handling the Ket. I talked with Drac, putting ideas together. Expand our guerrilla tactics, get Angaran military advisors, research exaltation. Just, I don't know. Wish your dad could give me his take. You don't need his take. Why? This all looks fine to me. Nasira, your father. They always had a plan I could follow. Without one, it's too easy for people to get hurt. Like now. The Initiative's plans are shot, and people die because of it. It's a mess, but plans wouldn't really help in this case. We're facing challenges we could never have prepared for. At least now we can prepare to fight the Ket. Sarissa will have a strategy. Just need to find her and the other Asari. You be good to have certainty again. don't have a lot of faith in us, do you? And way too much faith in the, uh, in the Asari that are still missing. So that's what she was talking about. Um, Drac, where the hell are you? He just disappeared on me. So this is... I'm going to do it. I've run all the tests. It's non-toxic. What is if she I'm going, going to, to do? Live here, someone has to take the plunge and actually try to eat things. Dr. Tapero, please do something. Yeah, indeed. Oh, oh what on. the Think. hell? That was weird. Think. I need something. Hi, peeps. Who are you talking to? Writer, shit. You shouldn't sneak up on someone like that. I'm just talking to myself. Don't tell me you never do that. You seem stressed. No kidding. I'm not built for this kind of homesteading. Don't like people knowing where I am, where my stuff is. Okay, so that was that was amazingly camera worked. So amazingly filmed. I will. I was gonna say amazingly amazingly filmed, but it doesn't really get filmed. Just camera work. Oh, I'm gonna shut up. So um, chill out, please. You've gotta relax. You're starting to stress me out. I'd like to. I need to. Yes. When I felt like this back home, I'd look for a zero G chamber or at least an isolation tank. Some place to just drift away. I could really use that now. If this may, scene is actually can be pretty well done. The escape pod. You can create a zero G chamber. Of course! Sam, you're a genius. Okay. That's gonna be fun. It's easy. It'll make a huge difference, Ryder. You'll see. You know, there's room for two. Uh hell yeah. Thought you'd never ask. That's all I need to hear. And this should do it. <sighs> Close your eyes. Relax. <laughs> Let yourself go. Mm. Oh, this hits the spot. Ryder? Yeah. Yeah, huh? There's something else that would relax me. Oh, chicka wow. Wow. That's the spirit. Wanna fool around? <laughs> okay, this turned a bit. Going on. I can be utterly discreet. Just fun. Two people blowing off steam. No strings attached. Only if there's no strings. Um, I'd, oh god, Sarah, you're looking horrible. I'm into you, PB. I'd want it to mean something. Oh. Huh. Good to... No, let's not rush things. Just enjoy this. <sighs> so the romance option in this case was not to accept her advances? That was interesting. I didn't really think about it when I had the option there, but that was an interesting way of doing that. Now where the hell is Drac? We had the zero G fun now, but we're the biggest crew member and I can't find him. Ah, uh, let's go down again. The last time he wasn't... Oh, for fuck's sake. I never checked the kitchen. Red He's... I've been this ranting about them not the being in the same place, and he was in the I've same place. People like him before. Um, we can handle him. We'll figure him out. I'm an idiot. Pride will get us all killed. This ain't the time for it, kid. From where I stand, the Archon thinks he knows what's best for us. Problem is, he can follow through on it. 
that exaltation the cat do. It turns people into slaves. He can do that to us. He has that power. Someone like him you take out fast and hard. Get the leader, the rest will follow. Honestly, drop a nuke on his head, blow up a sun if you have to, take the collateral damage. Yeah, I think sacrifices will be inevitable. Um, yeah, let's agree with Drac for now. I hope it doesn't come to that. But exaltation seems almost worse. If he has his way, there won't be anyone left to save. You don't mess around with this kind of thing. Ends badly each and every time. Another galaxy, and there are still despots. We saw similar types back when I worked as a peacekeeper. Pirates attacking the colonies. We trained the colonists and they started fighting back. Raiders didn't expect that. The Angara already know how to fight. But the Archon, he's got an army to back up his crazy. Well, he wasn't expecting us now, was he? We're the new variable here. He can't predict what we'll do. That is an advantage, so long as we play it right. You keep thinking about how you want to handle this. And that we will. We'll only get one real chance at it, won't we? Yep, so when we take him down, let's make sure he stays down. Like I did with the Cardinal when I put my sniper rifle through his head. So, with that done, let's go to Kadara Port and see where the next quest leads us, shall we? Um, let's put this up, and there we go. System, Gavorka, approaching Kadara. Besides being a haven for Nexus exiles, what do we know about this place? Not a lot. A group of exiles called the Outcast liberated Kadara port from the Ket. Until recently, their power was absolute. But a new gang, the Collective, has been chipping it away. Real shady bastards, led by an unknown called the Charlatan. Well, with luck, they'll be too busy shooting at each other to notice us. That is interesting. So this is going to be the first time we're going to meet those exiles, um, which might be interesting. And then there's another group called the Collective that's apparently fighting the exiles. This might get rather interesting. Adding a few more groups to the pile will, uh, well, should make this uh, a more acceptable story, I think. Kadara. Now orbiting Kadara. Here we go. Let's activate Stand the scanner. The for all incoming ships. The port is a ceasefire zone by order of Sloane Kelly. She was head of Nexus security. Be ready for anything and keep comms open. Should hear from our resistance contacts soon. Here we go. Ooh, this looks ominous. Is that a black hole in the background? Yeah, it is. How was that planet so close to that black hole? Okay. Incoming call. Patching it through. There's been a development regarding the spy Venturev. Rendezvous at Crawler's Song. Your contact's code name is Shayna. 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 Got it. Okay. This is starting to look like a spy movie. Ooh. Kadara Port. Seems like another type of desert planet. And that does not look like a safe way to land that thing. But hey, who am I to judge that? That's oh, we even get the squad. Sign. Okay. Exiles have stepped up their game since the revolt. That is, yeah, not looking good. Although this is looking good, that's actually pretty not cool. Not too shabby for folk who got kicked off the station with nothing to show for it. Huh. They don't deserve admiration at this point, but maybe we should be allies. All I see is the trail of bodies they left behind. Our suppliers waiting. Come on, we're gonna. So be I late. can't forget that most of the exiles are actually Krogan. Nope. So, that might be interesting as well. Wait for an email from Knight. Oh, so we got word from the fuck. Look at this place, by the way. This is actually pretty nicely done. Got a bit of a Star Wars vibe to it. Um, I suppose we're going to take a look around. This seems like they put that marker behind me. 
Oh, this is taking a long time to open the door. Hello? Where the... Okay. Scanning. What am I scanning exactly? Oh, there we go. So, shipping containers. And then... Ooh, 100 Milky Way research data from an adapted initiative core tech. Okay. Um, 34 meters that way. So let's probably go through this door. That also takes two minutes to open the door. And then over... Oh, nope, still not. Still nothing. Ooh. You won't get away with this. <laughs> My... People won't allow it. Not for us. The Angara would have been slaughtered by the cat. Ungrateful prick. Okay. I don't really like this these guys, but I do like their armor. It's looking pretty cool. And the final big door, probably. I'm sick of your shit. Jesus, this takes a while. Ooh. Okay. This is interesting. Maybe... Now that we're in this uh, nightclub, I'm going to take a little break for now. So, uh, right over there we need to be. So, that's where we need to be. So, let's stand right next to this uh, Salarian here. All these guys have really cool armor. I want to I wanna join the Outcasters for that. Or the Collective. Or the Collective. Um, so, thank you guys normally for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And when we get back, we're going to, well, continue exploring uh, Kadara Port. Because this is looking... Uh, rather interesting so thank you guys again enormously for watching and i hope to see you in the next video or series goodbye <laughs>